This video is describing a coordinated military operation involving multiple brigades of the Ukrainian armed forces when discovered a group of orcs that were first smoked out of a damaged infantry fighting vehicle and then finished off when they tried to escape. The term orcs is often used informally to refer to Russian or separatist forces. In this context, it likely refers to enemy combatants. The operation began by forcing the enemy out of the damaged IFV. This likely involved the use of smoke grenades, other incendiary devices, or tactical maneuvers designed to compel them to abandon their vehicle. When enemy troops left the IFV and attempted to flee, they were engaged and neutralized by Ukrainian troops. The drone flew towards them, causing them to fall to the ground, looking very frightened. When the enemy tried to flee, they were unable to find safe shelter and were forced to return to their broken vehicles. Even though they returned to the damaged vehicle, the enemy still could not escape the attack from the drone. Attack drones of Ukrainian forces targeted and destroyed enemy soldiers. This operation exemplifies the effective use of combined tactics to dislodge enemy forces from fortified positions and ensure their neutralization when they attempt to escape. Another video captured two Russian tanks were destroyed at once in the Kursk region yesterday. The Russians pulled a couple of tanks to our state border near Sumy region. At first, it was not possible to hit the artillery. Initial attempts to hit the tanks with artillery were unsuccessful. Involvement of Wings to Hell 103 Obertro, the 103rd Separate Territorial Defense Brigade, Wings to Hell, took on the task. Operators from this brigade used drones to engage the tanks. Destruction of tanks. Utilizing drone technology, the operators successfully targeted and destroyed both tanks. This operation resulted in the tanks being burned, indicating they were likely set on fire or heavily damaged. This event highlights the effective use of drone warfare by Ukrainian forces to overcome challenges that traditional artillery strikes could not achieve. It demonstrates the adaptability and technological prowess of the 103rd Separate Territorial Defense Brigade in neutralizing armored threats at the border. Here's a detailed account of a military operation where Ukrainian forces used drones to target Russian dugouts. The operation took place in an area where Russian forces had established defensive positions in dugouts. These dugouts provide protection against artillery and airstrikes. Ukrainian forces deployed drones. The drones were carefully piloted to the location of the Russian dugouts. Utilizing real-time video feeds, operators identified the exact positions of the dugouts. Munitions were then accurately dropped into the dugouts from the drones. The drone drop successfully targeted the Russian forces in the dugouts, likely causing significant damage and casualties. This tactic allowed Ukrainian forces to neutralize the threat posed by the dugouts without direct ground engagement, reducing the risk to their own troops. By using drones in this way, Ukrainian forces have demonstrated their ability to effectively use technology to gain a tactical advantage, disrupt enemy positions, and inflict damage on troops. The enemy is well fortified. During the attack on Russian positions, Ukrainian forces used drones to determine exact locations. They then drop ammunition or grenades from drones directly onto it, causing massive damage to enemy troops without having to get close.